Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today's video is gonna be the start of a brand new series here on the channel called Wix Principles. Basically, I'm gonna be teaching you guys the best practices for building and designing your websites here on Wix. And today we're gonna be primarily focusing on negative space, or also you might have heard the term white space. Now basically what that refers to is the amount of space to let your content breathe on your website. It's also useful because if done right, it can help lead your users on a journey down your website. So if we take a look at this website here, I have seen websites look like this from Wix users. And of course, no disrespect if your website does look something similar to this. However, obviously this is not the best way to design your websites because not only do things, you know, go outside the grid lines and won't be fully responsive, but everything is above the fold and just seems so squished and so tight. So in this video, we're gonna be kind of designing a really nice hero section using negative space and hopefully being able to design this in a way that doesn't seem like everything is super, super cramped. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and just move all of this content down for now. And what I want to do is go ahead and press this little plus icon and I'm gonna add a classic strip. Now what this strip is, it's basically a section that we can put content inside of and it will help us separate our different sections on the website so that every single section have its own dedicated amount of content in it and it helps add that negative space. But for now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is bring this down quite a bit. Um, if we go over here to tools and open up the toolbar, here we can actually set a number. So let's just give it a height of 900 pixels for now. And what I want to do here is give the strip a background image and we'll make it this image right here. So that way there's one less element on the page and it's just gonna be the background. So what we're gonna do is click on the strip, change strip background, and we're gonna select image. And it's gonna open up the media library where we can find our own images or we can upload our own if we want. So I'm just going to use this one right here. Looks perfect. And now what I want to do is actually go ahead and add some text here. So let's go ahead and I'm actually going to add another strip here. We'll stick it here. We'll drag it on top of this strip right there. And with this strip selected, I'm gonna go into layouts and I'm gonna align it to the left because what we want to do is stick the text over here on the left and aligning it to the left completely moves the grid line. So if I go back to center, you're gonna notice we have a left grid line and a right grid line. But if I move it over here to the left, it basically shifts that grid area so that was here in the center over here. So now this is the area over here that we can put our content inside of. And what I want to do is go ahead and just remove the background color from this, which looks really nice. And what I want to do is go ahead and grab these elements right here. Let's just group them together. I'm gonna copy it and paste it into this strip right here. Perfect. And here we have our content here. Now you can design this however you want. So I suggest using your brand fonts and your colors so everything is consistent. But for this button, I'm just going to make it white or black, sorry. Okay, perfect. And then what I want to do is I kind of want to grab this, this little thing right here. We're going to drag it all the way over here. And what I want to do is go ahead and stick it right into this strip right here. Maybe we'll stick it right here. And maybe we can go ahead and add something that looks like this, like a little chat bubble. We'll make this chat bubble white. Let's go ahead and drag out a star real quick. Let's make this like yellow. This is a really ugly yellow, but we'll roll with it for now. And we'll duplicate this four times and just line it up with each other.
And if we select all five of these stars, come over to this align tool and press distribute horizontally, they'll add even space in between all of them. And then let's just go ahead and grab a text element right here. We'll make this one quite small, like maybe 13 pixels. We'll stick it in here, align it with the stars and do something like this. So it kind of gives it like a review look. And then maybe inside of this little uh, pinpoint thing, uh, we can go ahead and add an image. So I'm just gonna go to Unsplash and look up a person. And we will grab this guy right here, but we're gonna crop and edit. Do one by one and just drag it down just like that. And we're gonna press save. They want to say add to page. And then with this selected in the design, what we're gonna do is scroll down to something like this. And we're gonna bring it down a lot. Something like this. And we'll just stick it right here in that little icon. And if we wanted to customize the border, we can go down to like two pixels. Stick this right here, just like that. So now we kind of have this cool little graphic here, if you will. Next, let's go ahead and bring down this little area right here. Let's go ahead and add another strip. We're gonna make this one black and we're just gonna drag this on top, just like this. And what we want to do is go ahead and add three columns. So we're gonna do uh, layouts, add column, manage column, add a third one. And each one of these, which I probably should have did first, is we're gonna go into these and lower the background opacity to 90%. Just like that. And then now we can grab these text elements right here, paste them in right here, make them white. Maybe we'll drag them up to the top just like that. And insert all of these text elements here. Then we can drag this up something like this. And then we can drag this up just like this. And if we wanted to, we could grab this column right here and align this one to the left. And we can grab this one over here on the left and align it to the right. Here is what we will have. We'll have this nice little graphic here, which could be done a little bit better. And then we have the image in the background of the entire section. But because everything has a dedicated space, your eyes kind of go on this journey of looking up here, looking at the background, looking at the graphic, and then looking at this additional info right here. And I think this design, even though it could be tweaked a little bit more, looks far better than something like this. But that basically wraps it up for today's video. If you guys did learn something, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel if you want to learn more about Wix and EditorX in the future. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one.